He was 16 years old when he was killed when he killed an elderly Port St. Lucie widow nearly 25 years ago. Now, after all that time, Victor Brancaccio is back in court, hoping a judge will reduce his life sentence. Covering the story for us tonight is New Channel 5's John Shaman at the St. Lucie County Courthouse. New laws surrounding juveniles convicted of first degree murder allow for this sentencing do over. This comes after two trials back in the 1990s that garnered national attention and daily cable coverage. Victor Brancaccio turns 41 next month. His defense attorney said Tuesday his client is a story of redemption, maturation, and rehabilitation. 25 years ago, the perfect storm hit Victor Brancaccio, and unfortunately, the brunt of the storm was suffered by Molly Frazier. June of 1993, a then 16 year old Brancaccio killed the 81 year old Frazier after she criticized his rap music. <laughs> To break it. Force. At trial, prosecutors said Brancaccio beat Frazier with his fists and a toy gun. Stored in the county evidence locker, Frazier's glasses and the spray paint the teen used on her body after hiding it in a field and burning it. Victor gets another chance, Your Honor. Victor will never see another courtroom in his life. For the first time Tuesday, Brancaccio's parents testified on his behalf. Eugene Brancaccio telling the judge he spent two million dollars in his defense and that his son would have a place to live and work. He said the Zoloft his son was prescribed before the murder changed him. That made him into a monster. Brancaccio's defense that Zoloft prevented him from knowing right from wrong led to national attention. Twice, Brancaccio's team failed to get new trials based on the drug's effects. His mother said Tuesday her son would not be a risk to the community. The hearing should conclude tomorrow. The judge will then set a future date to announce his decision. In Fort Pierce, John Shaman, WPTV News Channel 5.